Well, hello. Uh, my name is Logan West. I have a YouTube channel where I upload videos on HP calculators from time to time. Uh, some of you may have seen those. I started doing that when I was studying for my professional engineering exam and I wanted to look up how to do integration on the HP 35S and realized there weren't any videos on it. So I thought, well, I can contribute back to YouTube. So I uploaded a few videos and before you knew it, there were some subscribers and I did a few more videos on some other HP models. Uh, the DM42 ones have been pretty popular. And uh, it, it's still something of a hobby for me. I, th I think the HP calculator aficionado market is just a little bit too small, too niche to make a living off of YouTube uh, doing that full time. So I still have my day job. I'm an electrical engineer. I work in radar for the uh, FAA. But uh, today we have a special video for you all at HHC 2022 and we hope you enjoy it. Well, hello again. So today I wanted to cover something that was sent to me recently. So a bit of a background first. In 1988, HP released the HP 32. It was really a solid, you know, general purpose scientific calculator. It was designed to have most of the commonly used functions readily available with only one or two keystrokes. In 1991, they made a significant upgrade to this by releasing the 32S2, which added some really nice features such as fractions, algebraic math. And that, that became a real great entry-level calculator for many. Now, Michael from Swiss Micros sent me a prototype of a new unit they've been working on. This is the DM32. This takes the functionality and design of the HP 32S2 and upgrades it with more memory, greater precision, faster processor, uh, save states, you know, all the, the wonderful upgrades that we're used to seeing from Swiss Micros. So here's the package that was sent to me. And even though this is just a prototype, I was thrilled to see the packaging on this thing and the care that Swiss Micros takes with their products. So let's take a quick look, open it up. I've got this uh, nice black envelope here. I have a thank you card, a note from Michael, I really appreciate it. And uh, inside this little wrapping, we have the DM32. So one of the first things I noticed right off the bat when I was playing around with this is that the keyboard has a really nice tactile feel. I know there's been some growing pains along the way with the keyboards on some of the earlier models, but I feel like this one really addresses all the issues that I've seen. There's definitely been some improvements. I do want to stress that this is a prototype. So David at Swiss Micros has been working hard, sometimes releasing multiple builds of the software per week. This is not an emulator. This is new firmware that's designed to run natively and efficiently on this modern hardware. So that's fantastic. So if I turn it on here, uh, the first thing I notice right off the bat is the beautiful screen, the multiple levels of the stack. That's really nice. If I go into the settings here, You'll see we've got the regular file settings. So activate USB disk, that means you can connect it to a computer and then uh, make backups of your system, all of your programs, that sort of thing. You also have the save and load states and I really, really like that feature. So perhaps you're building lists of equations but you're working in multiple disciplines. You can just create a set of equations for electrical engineering, one for mechanical engineering, save those states and swap back and forth really quickly and easily. Back out here, let's go to about. You can see that this is version 1.68, but again, that software is being updated regularly. Let's back out here. So we've got the regular core functionality here. So let's say I have 37 and that's something that's in Celsius. I want to convert that to Fahrenheit, so I'll shift over there. We got 98.6. I also was playing around with the equation editor. So let's say we go to enter in an equation and we want uh, the area of a circle. So the area of a circle is equal to uh, pi r squared. So we've got pi times r and then squared. I want to solve for the area. So enter in a radius of 2, run stop, gives me an area back of 12.57. So yeah, most of the core functionality has already been implemented. 
Uh, it's still in development, but it's looking really, really good. And I'm excited to see what kind of upgrades Swiss Micro is going to bring to this.